the ice cap gyro pump is back and better than ever. Stay tuned and see what's new. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Jeremy and I'll be your host. Today we are going to go over the setup and installation of the newly released IceCap 2K and 4K gyre flow pumps. The all new IceCap gyre flow pump is not only more powerful than its predecessor, they are now Wi-Fi controllable. The new controller utilizes CoralView's powerful Hydros platform to access lifelike flow patterns, scheduling, and watch more. There are a ton of other benefits to the new controller that we're excited to share with you, including control two ice cap gyre pumps with one power supply. A single power brick means less clutter around your tank. If you already own the ice cap 1K or 3K pump, you can upgrade it to be Wi Fi controlled. Just plug it into your dual gyre pump Wi Fi controller and voila! Now you're controlling your old ice cap gyre pump using the latest tank tech by Hydros. The dual gyre pump Wi-Fi controller has 0 to 10 volt input, so you can connect and control your ice cap gyre pumps from a third party aquarium controller like the CoralView Hydros Control 4, Neptune Systems Apex, GHL Prophylux, or the Reef Angel. CoralView's Hydros platform powers the dual gyre pump Wi-Fi controller, so you'll have access to multiple flow patterns that are programmable by time along with the handy modes that can trigger like feed mode, night mode, or water change mode. There are four colored LED lights on the dual gyre Wi-Fi controller that gives you an at-a-glance look at what's going on with your pumps. The IceCap 2K is an excellent option for smaller aquariums that would benefit from the horizontal and vertical water movements only a crossflow pump can produce. The IceCap 2K is a small single mount magnet supporting a very efficient motor consuming a mere 25 watts at 100% flow with a maximum flow of 2000 gallons per hour. A single 2K pump is suitable for tanks up to 90 gallons. The ice cap gyre's pump magnetic mount holds the pump up to surfaces half inch or thinner. For those nano aquariums or hard to get flow areas, this pump is capable of a more compact single propeller operation with the included side cap. And for larger aquariums, we have the ice cap gyre 4K pump that uses the latest in cross flow technology at a reasonable price. It is durable and features a very efficient motor, consuming a mere 45 watts at 100% intensity with a maximum flow of 4,000 gallons per hour. A single 4K pump is suitable for tanks up to 150 gallons, and multiple 4K pumps can easily handle larger systems. Before I get started, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include dryer pump, power supply with cord, Controller, protective sleeves, spare set of black propellers, single side cap for the 2K model only, instruction card. Installing the pump is relatively straightforward, but we must be careful to choose the location and orientation of the pump within our tank. We can mount the gyre pump horizontally so the water is pushed across, or we can choose to set the pump vertically on the rear glass and push water across the back. Once we have selected the optimal spot, it is time to install the pump. First, ensure the glass thickness is no more than half inch for the 2K and 5 eighths for the 4K. Then, using a simple scraper, we must clean the selected area to remove any algae from the surface. Separate the pump from the magnet bracket and install it to your desired location. These magnets are powerful, so please be careful not to pinch your fingers or have the magnets slip out of your hands, as it may damage the glass or acrylic. Once installed, we may rotate the flow cages clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the water flow angle and to take note of the direction. When mounting the ice cap gyre vertically, please be sure to rotate the cages so that the water intake is away from the walls of the aquarium. Once installed, it is time to mount the controller. Choose a location that is away from heat, excessive humidity, and never mount the controller over open water. Please be sure that all the cables reach the pump 
and that the cable connections have proper drip loops to prevent any components from getting wet. Connect the cable from the controller to the gyre and then the power supply to the controller. Finally, connect to the power outlet and run the pump for the first time. Now that the pump is installed and running, check out our video on the controller's features and instructions. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the ice cap gyre pump, including detailed specs, beautiful high quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions about any of the products in our video, visit our support portal. Our friendly reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest aquarium news, reviews, and how-tos. You can also find Coral View on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us and we'll follow you back. Thank you for watching and see you next time.